Teacher Talk and Sports, what it does, what it do, how we live in. Let's talk some Nikola Jokic. Uh, this was from Skip and Shannon Undisputed, uh, their YouTube page. Of course, they have their show on Fox Sports, Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Who's leading the MVP race? So from 17 years ago, uh, 17 years, 17 hours ago, 125,000 votes. Uh, DeMar DeRozan leads the way at 33%. Joel Embiid, second, 28. Giannis, 17%. Steph Curry, 15%. And way in last of the five guys listed, Nikola Jokic receiving 7% of the vote. And if you could say I voted for Jokic in this poll, I have him as the slight um, favorite right now to win MVP. He's my guy right now. Slightly over Embiid and Giannis. I would actually have DeRozan fourth. Uh, but let's look at this. This is from Harrison Wind on Twitter. So Harrison Wind is part of the Denver Sports Network. So, of course, uh, um, he gets to see a lot of Nuggets. This is stunning. The Nuggets 0.19 local TV rating is the lowest in the league and on pace to be the lowest NBA local rating in at least the last 15 years. The glory years of Nuggets basketball led by the best player in franchise history continue to go unwatched. So we scroll all the way to the bottom and let's get a microscope because it's kind of hard to see. Alta to Denver Nuggets, 0.19. Second lowest is the Orlando Magic at 0.275. And then every other team is at least double the Magic. Um, compare the Nuggets, 0.19 to the Warriors, 7.63. Yes, yeah, 7.63. Uh, pretty much 40 times greater. Now, I did read... Uh, Nuggets games are blacked out in certain areas. I guess a cable dispute. But nonetheless, um, you know, you have the reigning MVP, a Denver Nuggets team, which is pretty good. I think they're nine games over 500 now. And that is in spite of not having Jamal Murray or uh, Michael Porter Jr. out there. Uh, but let's look at Jokic's numbers for the year. I mean, they're not far off and in some ways better than his MVP season last year. Uh, shooting slightly better from the field, a little down from three, but he's attempting more. As you see, he's more accurate from inside the arc. Points per game, basically the same. Assists, pretty much the same. Steals, blocks, pretty much the same. Averaging three more rebounds per game, though. Uh, if we take a look at his on-off uh, per 100 possessions. Here we go. So on the court, they are a plus 10 points. Uh, per 100 possessions, his on-off per 100 possessions, 20.1, which means the Nuggets are pretty good, better than pretty good, great when Jokic is on the court, and they are basically awful when he's off the court. Um, here are the all-time single-season per player efficiency rating. Uh, leaders for a single season so right now if the season ended today Jokic would have the highest player efficiency rating in NBA history look who's second Giannis not far behind and this is also in the current season and Embiid fourth uh, of course there is still 20 plus games left to play uh, these could change but my question is is Jokic arguably the most underappreciated superstar in the NBA in recent time i mean i don't even know who to compare to him maybe like a tim duncan uh because he wasn't outspoken or anything like that but let's face it everyone knew he was amazing a guy like Jokic somehow seems to be going under the radar despite being the reigning mvp despite possibly winning back-to-back -back mvps despite being pretty much um universally seen as the best passing big man in NBA history. So what do you think? Um, do you agree with those poll results from Skip and Shannon's YouTube page? Do you think Jokic is the most underappreciated superstar? Maybe not just in the NBA, but in all the sports. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, hit the bell for notifications. I'm out.